Tan Sinclair, are you a cool in them fear? Yo, I have the bodies you so stone class side. Yo, each and here everywhere. So people, you hear me? You want the latest dance tea shows and things you never see out here. Just check Dan Sinclair. Who's that? Ricky Chopper, the serial killer. And I mean say put it on YouTube, yeah? Yo, Dan Sinclair, are you them fear? Oh, yo, check Dan Sinclair. Greetings to everyone. We're here today to launch a breath groundbreaking move in the sound system world regarding to the competitiveness of how sound systems would compete against each other. Today the launch is with the Stereograph Foundation Sound System Championship Belts. Now let me introduce myself to you. There are many who know me, but obviously there's some that don't. I am Minister Michael Gordon, known in the sound system business and the music business as Chaba. Back in the days, I used to have the legendary sound called Stereograph in the UK here which, when it came out, made a big impact in innovation and how it took the sound system world by storm. I've been going to clashes from in the 60s. My first clash I went to was 1968 at Brixton Town Hall. It featured Count Shelley, from North London, Neville, the musical enchanter from South London, and the legendary sound, Drew Creed, the Trojan. Now from those days, sound systems have always played in competition, winning a cup or a trophy, more often a cup. So you can see where it's been stemming from all over these decades. I had a vision some years ago, actually from 1994, that the concept of how competitions would be played in sound system needed a different format. But, as you know, nothing happens before the time. Hence I had a vision to bring championship sound system belts into play to give it a different flavor a different incentive when the serious sound system owners compete against others so today we are here to launch the stereograph foundation sound system championships belts which is something different. I have today here with me one of my original crew members when we had Stereograph Sound, no other than Digo Ranks, who was one of my MCs. How is it for you today, Digo? Yes. Chaba, all is well. I'm great, man. Reminiscing, you know? Yeah, we're having a great day. You know, and like Sheba said, the, the, the belts, sound system belts has never been heard about, so get strapped up, you know. You know, when I look and I think back, Digon, I've seen and I looked at the current play and state of clash, it needed a fresh injection. It needed something else. Right. Hence why we've come with the sound system championships. There's certain differences, you know, mm -hmm. compared to the Clash fraternity right. in the ruling and the way it's governed. 
it wouldn't make sense if we came and replicated exactly how Clash format was made. Right. It needed something new. Some fresh ideas. And this is something that's never been done in the history of sound system. Mm -hmm. This is a brand new concept. concept. Yeah. And we are the governing body right. for the belts. Absolutely. Yes. Stereograph Foundation is a recognized body worldwide. Now these belts will be played for globally. We have belts for every major country. Right. We have the USA belt. Mm -hmm. We have the UK belt. We have the European belt. We have the Canada belt. Right. We have the West Indian Caribbean Islands belt. Mm -hmm. So you can see we haven't left no turners or no corners that's been left unturned. Okay. We even have the Japanese belt. <laughs> <laughs> so this is something that's coming on a different concept, you know? Right. Many would say, and what have you done in the business where you can be such an authority? Let me just give them a little history about who I am. Yeah, please do. I had one of the most prolific sounds in the UK in the eighties called Stereograph, who knows the history, knows what Stereograph did to sound systems oh, yes. and what it brought to the table. <laughs> I left here in 1983 mm -hmm. as the only UK born selector to go to Jamaica and tackle the Jamaica sound system world, world yeah. which in, let's be fair, Jamaica is the mecca of sound systems. Absolutely because that's where it started from. So I always had this passion that after I'd done what I did in the UK, to challenge my ability mm -hmm. to see if I could make the cut yeah. in Jamaica. And I left here in 1983 and built a sign in Jamaica called Destiny Outer National. Yes, sir. In the Mandeville era. Mm -hmm. It started off in a small district up in Manchester, in Jamaica, called Comfort Comfort. District. Unknown to me, I didn't know the success, mm. what destiny would generate. As I said, when I left here in 1983, I left on a one-way ticket. Many thought I was mad. <laughs> but I had confidence in my ability mm -hmm. as one of the legendary selectors and wanted to go out there and see what happened. Mm -hmm. And as you know, history has shown the rest. Yeah, My gosh, it really took the place by storm. Great impact you made, man. Let us look at the artists that came through Destiny International. You had the likes of Bimbo, which in most of you got to know him in the latter times as a great garnet silk. He started on destiny, so to speak. Yes, man. And without sounding boastful, I was the one that encouraged him to sing. Because mm -hmm. he used to DJ right. under the name Bimbo. He was a brilliant DJ, but I heard a potential in him to go in the singing direction. Yes, yes. You have Everton Blender, another prolific Jamaica mm -hmm. artist. Yes, man. Destiny International. You have Tony Rebel. Again, for major, Destiny International. Mm -hmm. You have Lika Kirk. Destiny, Destiny. International. Mm -hmm. You have Uton Green. Destiny International. Culture Knox, whose father was Free Eye, the well known personality in Jamaica on the radio stemmed from Destiny. Mm -hmm. You had Joker Hyrie. Mm -hmm. I could sit here and go no, on for on hours on. about all the entertainers. That work Super in. Black. Yes. Daddy Miki. Yes. Then you have those that mm -hmm. wasn't there regular but was in there at uh, different intervals. Yes. 
such as General, General Trees, Trees. Yeah. G Lady G, right. Chaka Demas. Right. One of the ones that stands out that most people really reflect on is Co-Pilot. Who is Co-Pilot? Well, let me tell you who Co-Pilot is. Mm -hmm. Co-Pilot became Shabba Ranks. And he was amongst us. Not all the while, no, but in intervals. Yes. And he saw the potential of this sound, Destiny International. When it comes to competitiveness, as you know the history, mm -hmm. we tore the place apart. We took some big scalps, because I was what you call a SAS selector. Right. right. Sound assassin selector. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and you know, when you're in Jamaica and you play clashes, if you lose a clash, it could be the end of your sound. Definitely. So I had to take my game serious. Mm -hmm. But I won't go on too much about the history. That's say for the interviews that will be coming. Today's about the launch the launching of the championship belts and to let people be aware of what Stereograph Foundation has been doing okay. since 2017. Mm -hmm. One of the things that initiatives that we want to come with again that's a groundbreaking initiative is the dance mm -hmm. championships. Yes. Yeah, we're coming with that. When you look at the Bogles from Jamaica and the, what's his name? The Hype. The John Hype. John, John Hype and, and dancers. In yes, general. and the dancers in general. Yeah. There's many dancers here as well that would generate something, but the platform hasn't been here for it. Right. So again, we're bringing that initiative mm -hmm. with the championship dance-offs. Okay. We want to elevate the youngsters because, as you know, the knife crime and so forth has been going on and senseless killing. Sometimes they don't have a direction to reach out to. Something that will captivate their minds and to give them a general consensus and interest. Mm -hmm. So that's the initiatives we're coming with at Stereograph Foundation. Right. We also are about to launch into the Black Actors Award mm, Okay. in the arts and craft. And why I say this, there's many young aspiring black actors that's in the theatres and right. so forth. Yes. That don't really get the accolade. And I want you to understand as well as you know, with Stereograph Foundation Awards, it's not only generated for us alone, regardless of color, skin or creed. Right. If you're credible and we see in our eyes, You'll be we do acknowledge you. Absolutely. But on the other hand, as you know, you know, a lot of it's been generated mm -hmm. to give a platform to us in our Afro-Caribbean right. stance or whatever. Okay. So that is a point I need to get over, that they know it's not um, one-sided, so to speak. Right. But we're moving forward. forward. Definitely. So there's a lot of exciting things that we want to bring to the table. Just to veer back to the championship belts, mm -hmm. it will be played for in America, USA, Canada, and right round. And the, our co-founder, or you could say our associates okay. in America, who will be dealing with that, you know, they will take it to another different, different level. level. And that's New York Entertainment Syndicate. They yeah. will be the ones that will be dealing with it. And that's Wayne Gordon, you know. And we're just really excited. That's the New York Entertainment Movements. Movements. Correct. And they will be the main body that will orchestrate and oversee both USA championships and also in Jamaica. Jamaica. Mm -hmm. So what we want to say and establish is so I want to see that when you move as a collective body, 
it makes things stronger. I also want to give a big strength to recently now teaming up with Don Sinclair. Okay. And the reggae vibes. You know, we've come together now and looking to see how we can elevate things. And it's really great when like-minded people move together yes. with the progression of the sound system culture and the music. There is so much to share that I sit here and goosebumps come up my arm, <laughs> so to speak. Yeah. On the 23rd okay. of July, mm -hmm. we're about to launch another groundbreaking event. And that's in conjunction with Don Sinclair and the Reggae Vibes and Stereograph Foundation Championship Belts. This has never been done before. Mm -hmm. Where we will be going to Coventry, the West Indian Centre. Okay. And on that night, there will be a double tournament. A double championship. <laughs> now listen to this. Wow. You're going to have two Lovers Rock Sound facing off for one of these coveted championship belts. Wow. And you're going to have two Foundation Sounds playing after to win one of these belts. That's never been done before. That's all in one night? That's all in one night. Okay. Place to then, another excitement for those who don't know will be the relaunch of my sound, the legendary Stereograph. Wow. Now I want you to get this straight, people. I don't select sound no more. Yeah. So it's going to be a new crew, in the sense of some of my staunch members, which will be Digo Ranks, Ricky Rankin, and the selector will be Junior Dan. Okay. He will be selecting because Chab hang up his gloves a long time. Right. I've dealt with many sounds, <laughs> <laughs> both here in the UK and Jamaica. So mm. you got to know when to step back. Right. I'm not playing the role now, giving an incentive and overlooking because many of the elders see certain things that's not pleasing in the game. Right. But they're only saying it. They're not doing nothing no, they yes, they're not to helping. help it. Mm -hmm. I've never been that way. Mm -hmm. I'm a doer. So hence I'm coming with this. And another thing I must emphasize, this is for everyone in the sound system world. Okay. But it won't be. The reason why I'm saying, if you can't lose your profanity, you cannot enter the championships. There is no profanity mm -hmm. when you proudly battle for one of these belts. I've been watching over the years and like many people, you hear these clashes mm -hmm. and all you hear is the one telling you how to eat your mother, so to speak, and some derogatory thing. Unnecessary. Now to me, it seems like you lack vocabulary and your skill if you only rely on that. Right. When the emphasis is on playing the sound, mm -hmm. delivering the music, getting across to the public. But what I'm seeing, I listened to a clash the other day, and every second word the MC said, it was a profanity. Yeah, yeah. He might as well call his sound RC. Yeah. Because he never mentioned the sound. So what I'm saying, the championship belts is not for the sounds who cannot change and step up to this platform. Absolutely. And we don't have a problem with that. You want to continue in that vein, mm -hmm. that is fine. But we're coming with this now mm -hmm. to give a different alternative to the dance fans, sound system fans, and how it's done in general. So I needed to make that clear mm -hmm. that we want to tolerate that. 
is that when, when they compete, they will have to draft up for inclusion and adhere to the rules. Right. So there's so much to share with you. Time is short, but the main thing was to launch the champion sound system championships and the belts and to let you see them today. So you sound men <laughs> out there, clean up. Clean up. Yeah. And if you're skilled enough you come forward in your trade, you like to say you're a bad sound, let me see you win one of these belts.